Evidence of Aboriginal and Melanesian DNA on South Americans changes the narrative on the content's genealogy. The common tale of the South American world is simple if the history books are to be believed, that the South Americans are descendants of the North American tribes that, throughout the millennia, migrated south, creating the diverse populations found all along the continent. There have been tentative tries to change that narrative, with theories regarding the influence of Asian and Norse agents in the region, but today's video talks about a discovery that might shake the grounds on the subject even more. South Americans might have more Aussie and Melanesian blood in them than they thought. In 2015, geneticists came to an incredible discovery. The indigenous Brazilian communities of the Amazon rainforest had a distant but distinct DNA link to the native Australians and Melanesians. The discovery was a particularly impactful one because it could point to this genetic link in a sizable portion of the population, which indicates that the traces found aren't just happenstance. It wasn't just an artifact, it is a widespread genetic signal, said University of Kansas anthropological geneticist Jennifer Raff. It's a nice piece of work. The discovery confronts the common narrative of the Americas being entirely colonized by migrants from an ancient Siberian population. The original narrative claims that, 20,000 years ago, give or take, bands of hunter-gatherer tribes left Siberia and entered a landmass now submerged named Beringia, which at the time connected Eurasia to Alaska. Through this connection, the tribes crossed the Pacific settling in the now sunken region. After about five to 15,000 years, some tribes left Beringia, heading to the regions of North and South America. And if this narrative is true, they made excellent time. There are radiocarbon dates suggesting there were settlers in Monte Verde, a region in Southern Chile, one of the lowest of the South American nations, dated to about 14,800 years ago. The 2015 study focused on two different indigenous tribes of the Amazonian rainforest, the Caritiana and the Surui tribes. The Amazon is the biggest rainforest in the world, spanning over 7 million square kilometers, just over 2.7 million square miles, and is home to the biggest variety of fauna and flora in the world. The Amazon River is the longest river in the world, starting in the Andes and ending in Brazil and is home to one of, if not the biggest concentration of uncontacted tribes in the world. In this region of ecological conservation and natural bounties, the discovery of genetic connections to Aboriginal and Melanesian DNA is proof that our former understanding of the world around us was incorrect, specifically when addressing the colonization patterns of the Americas. The Americas in general, and Brazil in particular, are home to the biggest miscegenation rates in the world. Populations from all around the globe have congregated in the continent over the last centuries, brought by the conquistadors and their evangelistic spirit, as seen in the Lusiads, or by the more than 500 years of immigration to the continent, either through the slave trade, through the flight from wars, or through the search for better opportunities in the New World. In the tribes analyzed, more than 200 living and ancient people had their DNAs sequenced. The amazing discovery came then when scientists found out that many of the DNAs analyzed bore a signature set of genetic mutations. These genetic mutations were named the Y signal after the Brazilian Tupi word for ancestor, Yakura. Scientists disagreed about the origins of the Y signal on the tribes analyzed. Some pointed to the common theory, suggesting that signals appeared naturally in the indigenous populations through mutation. Others pointed to the theory of migration, saying that people related to present-day Australians could have gone to South America and introduced the genes there. This new study, led by geneticist Tabitha Hunmeyer, a geneticist at the University of Sao Paulo in Sao Paulo State, Brazil, through her study of 383 modern people from across South America, including dozens of newly genotyped individuals living in the Brazilian Amazon and in the central plateau of Brazil. Tabata worked with a team of scientists, geneticists, and researchers to ensure that the data collected was as correct and foolproof as possible. The Y signal she was looking for was found, 
and the incredible discovery was that it was not only on the indigenous people of the Amazon, but also on indigenous populations in the Zavante, a plateau region in Brazil's countryside, and in Chatuna, a population in Peru that descended from the Muchica civilization, a group of indigenous people who lived in the Peruvian coast from about 100 years after Christ to 800 years after Christ. After this discovery, the scientists had to challenge themselves to find answers to the riddle they were presented. The DNA dispersal they found simply didn't fit with accepted narratives from the past. Faced with these discoveries, the scientists proposed the theory that the very earliest, possibly even the earliest, South American migrants carried the Y signal with them. Those migrants likely followed a coastal route, then split off into the central plateau and Amazon rainforest between 15,000 and 18,000 years ago. The data matches exactly what you'd predict, if that were the case, says Jennifer Raff. One of the co-authors of the 2015 study, David Meltzer, who is an archaeologist at Southern Methodist University, says that the early settlement explanation makes sense. One of the steps he indicates for certainty in the matter, however, is the research go to the coastal areas to try and identify the Y signal in the populations there. The work done by Tabata has brought pride to those who have been investigating the subject for years. A popular geneticist at the Francis Crick Institute named Pontus Scotland has voiced his pleasure at seeing the research being conducted, knowing that it builds on the previous work done by him. I'm excited that local research groups in Brazil are picking this up, says Scotland. They're doing exactly what needs to be done. One mystery still remains, however. Why hasn't the Y signal shown up in any North or Central American indigenous groups? This question has been pondered by scientists and geneticists. They offer different possibilities to solve this mystery. The first, suggested by Hunmeyer, is that the migrants that bore the Y signal simply stuck to the coast, never entering the North and Central American regions, and therefore the gene never made it there. It's also possible that the Y signal groups did live in the North and Central American areas, but were wiped out by disease during the European colonization and its aftermath. Evidences of giant cities in the Amazon River Basin having been completely consumed by disease corroborate this, showing that the indigenous populations of the Americas weren't ready to face the diseases brought by the European sailors. That is well established, and could explain where the Y signal gene in the North and Central American populations went. The mystery of the Y signal gene in the Americas is incredibly interesting, and one that scientists are still working on to unravel. The story of the Y signal gene is another proof that science and the pursuit of knowledge are necessary, aiming to reveal the secrets of the human race and to further our knowledge of the species we belong to and the world we live in. Earth is a beautiful place, full of wonder and knowledge to be seen and learned, and the indomitable human spirit longs for the discoveries. What do you think about this video? Leave your theories and opinions in the comments below.